this came on my For You page, this interview, and I said, pumpkin lambs. This was one of those plane crashes that you know there's not going to be not one survivor. I don't give a shit how they land or where they land. It's just going down way too fast for any survivors, not even a black box. The Gail and R. Kelly interview. Gail would not back away. She was a honey badger, honey. She's leaning in. I want the story. I don't care if you cry. I don't care if you destroy this room. I'm sitting here and I'm going to get the story. At one point, he had just lost control. Like, he stood above Gail and he was pointing his finger like he was a gang leader and he was talking to the camera people, the producers. And Gail sat there, cool, calm, and collective, honey. She looked like a mannequin. She did not move because at the end of this rant, you're going to give me the story. Oh, honey, I'm patient. The Bible say don't be anxious, honey. I'll just sit here on my eggs and wait for them to hatch. I'm not moving and I'm not afraid of you. Now, I wore this black dress for an interview, but it can definitely be double used for a funeral. I got my black stockings on and my ink pen, my Wonder Woman bracelets, bitch. Come over here if you want to. Right now, she's so bored with him, honey. She's not even listening to what he says. She is totally zoned out. She is shopping in her mind, honey. She's like, I just bought Oprah a crystal vase from Neiman. I wonder if she got it in the mail today. Oh, I'm going to have Cornish hen today for lunch. Look at Gail shopping. <laughs> honey, she is like, my best friend is an original cast member from The Color Purple. And not only original, she is the breakout artist, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. If you think I'm scared of your little bump and grind, I'm not. Finally, she had had enough. She said, Robert, Robert, sit your ass down. And then he sat down. And like she knew she would. After her shopping spree was over, she was like, Robert, like in the five heartbeats, we've been down this road before. We've, we've had this conversation before. When she called him Robert and the way she called him Robert, I almost blacked out. She commanded her respect and authority. She's like, I'm not about to sit here and fight with someone that's six foot three. I will if I have to, but I, that's why she kept that pen right there. She was like, honey, this is going to be a ninja star if you come over here. But she, it was just unbelievable. If you think about this, this has to be one of the craziest interviews you've ever seen. It had a breaking story, a breakdown, a shopping spree. This is the moment Gail cut him off like a light switch in her mind. She look at that face. She's like, you know you lying. Gail is daydreaming. I wonder if Issa Rae likes Fabergé eggs. I'll send her one anyway. Honey, you daydream when you're bored.